What comes to mind when someone mentions Singapore? Is it its spicy street food, the Merlion, a place to transit? Or is it this, the Singapore Sling, a cocktail that's celebrating its 100th anniversary this year? It brings to mind visions of the Orient, tropical flavours with a kick, and has become synonymous with the nation. To find out more about how the Singapore Sling was created, we go back to where it was first concocted, the Raffles Hotel. I'm here at the Long Bar where the Singapore Sling is the best-selling cocktail and I'm speaking now to the resident historian of Raffles Hotel, Leslie Danker. Leslie, tell us a little bit more about the history of this drink. Okay, you can get a Singapore Sling in New York or in London, but the original comes from Raffles Hotel. How did this come about? Now, a lot of British were working here in Singapore and they came to Raffles for a drink. And according to the British tradition, the ladies were not supposed to be seen drinking in public. At that time, in the early 1900s, a young Hainanese bartender by the name of Nyam Tong Boon came to work for Raffles and he saw this. Then he said, I must do something for the ladies. He pondered for some time and he reached a conclusion, he used gin, a clear liquid. Uh, cherry brandy, Benidorm, Contru, pineapple juice, lime juice, and to give that pink hue, he used the grenadine. And he called it the Singapore Sling. The thing about the Singapore Sling is it's refreshing, it's pink, but it's also rather sweet. So do you think people's um, customers' tastes have changed over the last century? I don't think so. Because, you see, if it's changed, it won't be so popular. A lot of people who tried the Singapore Sling have told me it's nice, it's sweet. But then slowly you will get the kick of the gin. So I think everybody comes here, the taste is still the same as it was created 100 years ago, you know. And we are, this year we really salute Nyam Tong Boon for giving us the Singapore Sling. 